What up, Superfan fans? Today I'm about to bring you my favorite character this whole entire game. The Angara Avenger, guys. My favorite character of all times. Uh, for this character, I'm gonna reset her up for Sniper. Because that's what she's supposed to be, a Sniper build. Uh, put another Sniper on. I forgot to change this before I started. So sorry about that. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all how to do her... I would say a platinum build. A solo build. For sticky grenades. Now the two boosters you're gonna want... Well, it's gonna be hard to do this, but... You're, you're gonna want combat power amp or power cell capacity. Other than that, sniper rifles, if you're into sniper rifles like I am. So let's see, for power, we're going to go for combat amp, because I got this grenade capacity, so it's good. Okay, let's get to the build. For the stickies, this is the, put, the important part, and you guys can have this character at a rank 1, I think, to get all this, what you need. So you're gonna need sticky, you're gonna need power cell, damage, you're gonna want more damage because it's more useful. In my opinion, that is more useful. Having as many grenades as you can is the best thing to have over the shrapnel. Everybody knows that. And anti-armor, because you're gonna be doing a lot more damage to the armor than your shields. Kinda obvious. In other ways. The way I have this character built is for speed, so you can get objectives done a lot faster. But if you're in help for your teammates, you can go with uh, this, <coughs> if you want. But if you want more damage, go with that. Because that can be useful, but it's only useful when you're invisible. So I go with the ration, because you can get through... You can less use... You can use less amount of these while using your stickies in this case and I did this because you know I just said you get your objectives done faster you don't need to put anything into this Avenger Strike if you want I mean for a gold build I would go there recharge B because obviously it's good Uh, I would go with that Maybe no, I would go damage over that and definitely disrupting strike if you're doing a gold build But in this case, we're doing a solo platinum build So if you want to use your stickies go with power damage Targeting and or ammo and targeting for your snipers too because then you could go Weapon training and power special weapon specialist if you want to use more towards your sniper rifles, but in this case, you're going to want to get as much damage as you can from your stickies. So powers in melee. And power specialist. Because either one of these would work for y'all if you want. Either one works. Because mainly, all you need is this power in melee and power specialist. And that's basically all you need for this build. But if you have other points, I recommend putting them into this. Because then you can get more power cells with this. I would go with this because, hey, you can get your objectives done faster. That is good too, but I'd like to get my objectives done a lot faster. So that's kind of worth it. If you're, doing a soul, if you're doing gold, then melee is your best option for that Avenger Strike. So I'd go with this because I can carry more of the sniper rifle. And I get more towards the power, so it's good. And obviously, you're going to want damage resistance. If you're soloing so that can be important <laughs> I mean bulwarks are useless when you're soloing so there's really kind of no point of trying to use it oh, the black widow is a good gun but I don't really want to use it you know what we're gonna use it anyway and it's gonna be all on my favorite map firebase sandstorm and I usually don't run solo gold with this character because I am not good at soloing with a stealth character for some reason, but 
Hey, I get the job done. <coughs> I've soloed Platinum once with this character. It turned out well for like an hour's worth of gameplay. It would have been horrible to post that video. I don't ha I didn't even record it. <laughs> Sadly. Wish I did. But anyway, that was my only timing soloed platinum and I did it with this character at a rank 5ish. If I remember correctly, five or six. Maybe lower. I don't remember. Because now that I got this character to ten, I don't really care what rank she was. Okay. So with this build, with the we power cell capacity jacket, you you're going to be able to carry nine grenades. Without it, um, you can carry six. <coughs> And that also depends on, um, if you put on a power cell capacity, you can carry up to at least 12, I think. Yeah, 12, with the jacket on. I love this gun so much. It's the headshot for days. I should have went with my Viper. See the Lance even doing stuff. Protect yourself. So yeah, you're all probably wondering why why I'm doing this build guide. Well, thanks to a certain somebody, I am definitely doing a build video like I said I was gonna do earlier. You leave a comment down below, I definitely will do a build guide for that certain character you did comment for. Alrighty. I snipe with this character a lot. She's my one to go to sniper. But if you're soloing platinum with this character, I highly recommend you bring uh, some sort of shotguns. Protect yourself. <laughs> a sniper rifle is help. never Richard. not that bad to have. Actually. I mean, your shotgun would have to be a siphon, because you're going to need that extra health regeneration. How to go with my widow on this one. Anyway, guys, I was hoping to do this character for last, but that again, eh, it's worth it. Alrighty. Here we go. I like it when they come up here. See? One, and there's two. Obviously, this is bronze. Because the stress of platinum is... Highly on me. <coughs> That's why I haven't seen me on much nowadays. I'm tired of playing the game. I definitely play it if you all want to see me play it. Anyway, guys, you s whenever I get shot at and you notice the sparks flying or ho hovering around me. That's the damage resistance that I'm getting from my ward. Yeah, like when my shields are down, you notice this that I'm getting that damage resistance. It's kind of cool. Or it is cool. But you'd have to have this character at the rank I got to make her this good. I just love giving headshots for days. I could just kill everything 
with a bullet. I use the harpoon for a sniper on uh, platinum because, hey, one shot everything. Alright, where are they? Three more to go. Come on, come out wherever you are. Yeah, grenades and the bronze when you got her set up like this will insta kill everything. <laughs> so to be honest with you guys, I'm not much into credits no more. Nice job, Apex. Keep it going. As long as I got the characters I wanted to ten. Then I'm good. Intel shows key enemy personnel in that area. Normally what I do when I go to objective is this. See how I'm moving fast? That is pretty cool. I moved two times or five times faster with this build I got. And yes, I do take down a lot of enemies easily with the stickies on platinum. <laughs> Yeah, because of the duration, though, I can be able to stay invisible without worrying about wasting the sticky so much, or the stealth grid so much. <coughs> Four stickies to take down a Hydro and Bronze. Oh, let's see, we took down all of these? Normally, there's not that many enemies left after you kill the bosses. But in Platinum, that's a different story. I go with uh, sniper rifles because of the remnant. That way you get those uh, observers a lot easier. I don't know why my gun fired like that. It's strange. I don't even have to have this thing full power. Oh, check him out. He's far Protect away. Yourself. Yeah, I'm here, little bugger. Alright, what are you staring at? Yeah, I think the stealth grids last about, uh... 10 to 15 seconds more. Enemies headed your way. <coughs> no, no, I'd have to test it. I did a few times, but I don't remember. It's a thing. Sometimes I don't write down everything. Because for some characters, I prefer not to write stuff down. Because they're my favorites. Alright, you're gonna love this. One grenade. And that was until he raged. Usually it takes one grenade to kill a berserker. I can one shot everything. Except for the armored targets. And that's if I aim in the head. <coughs> Ugh. And I better do some my way. Yes, it's. Yeah, I should have been playing the solo platinum for y'all just to make it a lot easier. But then again, I don't think I would have made it. Because it was luck I made it through last time. <coughs> I don't think I'll do it again. Totally stressful. But fun. For first time solo like platinum, it was not that bad. Solo like gold is a lot easier. <laughs> I gotta say that.
<laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, here we are. Up here. Enemies headed Down here to the side. Away from this area. No, sorry guys, I usually check to see if someone jumps in. Because it's always a surprise to see if someone jumping in when you're soloing. On bronze, it is... That soloing is a lot more fun. Why am I think he's doing that? Normally, I just uh, aim at the Hydra first. There we go. He moved right after I shot, before the shot pull up. That was funny. Whoa, he moved. Did you see that, guys? I shot him and he moved. Let's go. Cool. <coughs> I don't like the glitches that are going on in this game. And it's not just me, it's everybody. I don't know why I just did that. You know what? Let's just sticky the heck out of these guys. Because you see, the radius by itself is. Not that bad. I was able to take down a whole group of enemies with one sticky. In platinum, that gives them a lot of damage. That's if you, uh... Oh, what was I gonna say? They get... <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, I got enough credits to buy a pack after this one for y'all, so I hope you enjoy the pack. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get some more golf medicine. <laughs> nice job, Apex. Keep I'm going crazy running out of golf medicine too much. Alright, here we go. Okay, devices. Now, I love doing devices. I'll do them all day long. Alright, here we go. Intel says the cat left genetic surveying devices in your area. Let's find and disable them. Once you get this character up to 20, her objective uploads are fast. Enemy tech shut down. You can get uploads done two times faster. It's pretty awesome. But that again, it takes a long time to get this character up to 20, depending on how much rate you have in her. And the normal amount of incense you get per day is how that's depending on getting her max. Uh, the solo platinum a lot easier, guys. Um, when you get a hack or an upload, when you go to recloak, you want to make sure to stay out of the zone, or back out a little bit out of the zone. I wish I had a hack or I would have showed you. Like, say, uh, this door. Oh, hang on, hang on. I gotta take this hydra out first. Y'all, hang on. Get out of the way, stupid Hydra, I'm making a movie here. <laughs> anyway, where the Berserker would be, you would re and the hack would be in the center, right? So you go outside the hack zone, recloak, then right, walk right back into it. <coughs> it makes it a little bit easier to do the objective. But that again... When you're soloing, the enemies always know where you are, even when you're cloaked. So, that's why I don't really like soloing. Platinum. But hey, it's worth a shot. It's really fun.
fun, stressful, all at the same time. I would have had one headshot if I, that stupid purse or whatever it is, did not block it. Did my character just move? Unbelievable. Nice job, Apex. Keep it going. Okay, here we go. I prefer my juggernaut to solo everything. I'll show you my build guide I got for that. And I'll solo the gold for that one. I will guarantee it. It'll be a gold solo. Not a bronze, but a gold. Get to the extraction zone. And this is where I stay invisible. Last wave is always stealth. Stay invisible. <coughs> Uh, normally you would throw two stickies to kill a dog. And normally guys, do not refill your stickies until you run out of stealth grids. Because what that basically does is... Um, if you don't know, every time you use a power cell from either one, this ammo box is going to refill all both of them. Like, if your stickies had one, you had one sticky out of nine, still, and you had like nine stealth grids, and you replenish from that ammo box, it's going to take the power cells out for just the one stickies. And then when you go to need stealth grids later on, you find out you're out. Now, I basically know with this character, you're just going to be spamming those stickies. Which is fun, but look, think about how many ammo boxes are in this mat, in the match you're playing. <coughs> like, what map would you be playing? How many ammo boxes are in each one of these maps? Because for me, guys, I don't really count them. Like, some maps would have like five, I believe. <coughs> I don't know. I never really tried counting them. I just know some maps have small, small amounts of them. Oh, you would, uh, to get more support points, you spam the stealth grid like that. Uh, <coughs> get your support points rolling in. If you're in the point thing, just giving you a little tip. Okay. There's your build. There was the guy. There was the the playthrough. And it, I should have done a platinum, but that again, it would have been taking too long. I have to get to bed early tonight. I figured, well, yeah, since this guy commented, I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely do the video he wants me to do. So, cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Time for a tactical mod pack. We got two silvers. A light pistol magazine. And a shotgun. Spare clip. Basically. I don't really know how to read some of these big words. Okay, let's see. Uh, the daily platinum for the night is a uh, form of circle, surgical strike. Well, that's not bad, in my opinion. So I'm your host, Silver Shot Games, and we'll be catching it later. Tomorrow, we're gonna. I'm thinking about doing the the Call of Duty zombie campaign walkthrough, but hey, that again, I might not be able to. Depending on how many comments I get on this video see how many more build guides I need to do <laughs> so please leave a comment down below and tell me which other character in my collection would you like to see a build guide for well the Kroge Gladiator is an obvious one because that was so so easy to get a build guide for 
the Batarian, Batarian Vanguard. I can show you his build as soon as I get him to 10. I can show you the other ones. Alright, Avenger. But the Batarian Vanguard to do a build guide for. Yeah, I got all these level. I got all these characters to level 20, except for the three bronze characters. I will get those maxed pretty soon before I quit the game. Or something like that. So I'm your host, Supershot Games. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for more info about upcoming videos uh, and all that good stuff. So I'll be catching you all later. Peace out for now.